What's going on guys? Well, I am here at 30th Street Station in Philadelphia. Uh, I got a bunch of the bags all packed up, ready to go. We've got the fishing rods right over here, laptop, all that good stuff. And I'm literally just waiting for this train to get started and to get on my way. Um, I got up super early this morning. I got up at like 4 a.m. I get like updates on my phone too about the train okay so the train's gonna be delayed actually we're not leaving until like 8 15 in the morning we're gonna see what happens and uh yeah I'm, I'm stoked it's gonna be a 12 hour ride it's gonna be long but we're gonna see so much i mean the train is gonna be open you know i mean it's to the point where i can see the outside and uh yeah i'm just i'm just super excited about this if you guys have never been to 30th street station it's definitely an experience i mean it's a huge hall it's they've got a bunch of art over here too it's beautiful so I just need to get myself a coffee, probably, because I had one cup this morning and that's definitely not enough on three hours of sleep. Let's just say I had the jitters, I was ready to get going, I was excited, so I didn't really get to sleep much. And uh, I've got some X-Files to watch on the train, some videoing to do for you guys, and uh, we should be arriving tonight at around 7.40, 7.50. Really depends how everything's gonna go and how clean the tracks are along the way. Well guys, it looks like it's gonna be an hour late. Well, folks, to say that this trip was easy is an understatement. Um, so basically, I called the managers at Amtrak uh, a couple of days ago when I first bought these tickets. And so I talked to the manager to make sure that I could bring my fishing rods onto the train. So I checked with them. I checked with the pickup luggage as well and the check-in luggage. So I thought everything was going to be cool, right? Everything was going to be set. I made sure with the manager that the fishing rods could go on. I let them know the dimensions and all that stuff. And find out that when I'm about to board my train, the conductor tells me I can't get onto the train. You know? So I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I freaked out a little bit. I was a little upset because I checked with the managers, so I checked with customer service, I let them know the dimensions, check in baggage was fine with it too. And then I'm told I can't board the train because of the item that I have with me that's supposed to be allowed. So I told him, I talked to the manager, he said he didn't care, that I wasn't allowed to bring it onto the train because I could hurt somebody with it or it's too long. So he told me he was going to give me a couple minutes to go up and get it checked into the check-in luggage, which I did. Come to find out, four minutes later, I come down to get back into the train, and they've left without me. So what I've done now is I've gotten rerouted. So we're on our way to D.C. right now. Hopefully we're going to arrive there before train 89. I'm on 79, so I'm supposed to catch up now with this train that left without me. And then I'm supposed to hop onto 89. So this is definitely interesting, exciting, but it's definitely made it worth my while because it's definitely woken me up, that's for sure. Well, anyways, guys, looks beautiful outside. Let's get to Washington, D.C. Hopefully I'll make it onto my train. <laughs> and uh, then we'll get down to Charleston. All right, well, we're almost in Washington, D.C. Um, I just talked to one of the conductors over here on the new train. His name is Kevin. He was super helpful, super nice, completely changed the experience for me. So what I found out now is that, as it seems, my fishing rods are on another train, not even on this one, actually, and they're not going to arrive in Charleston until about 5 in the morning. So tomorrow morning, we're going to head out really early with Jay, so I'm hoping before we do that, that the rods arrive, we can pick them up from the train station where they're going to hold them, and hopefully they're all going to be intact. All right, guys. Well, here we are. We are in Washington, D.C. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna grab some McDonald's real quick. 
I should be eating healthier than that, but uh, I think it's the only choice I have for now. We actually passed, like I told you, 89, so I think it's gonna take at least another 30 minutes for 89 to arrive here. And, uh, well then hopefully we'll be on our way. Like I said, the rods are not gonna be arriving until five in the morning, so we'll see what happens then. At least I made it, you know what I mean? So at least that conductor was helpful enough to get me onto this train so I can go where I need to get to. Well guys, after waiting and waiting, it looks like finally this train is moving too. I think this took way too long for everything, and I think I'm on the slow train out of all the trains today, so I don't expect to get to Charleston at least till probably like 10 p.m. tonight with the way this thing's going. I don't know, maybe it's the driver, the conductor, maybe the train. I don't know, as long as nothing happens to any of us on here, that's all that matters to me, even if we come like two hours late. Just got myself some, uh, those new, I think it was sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffins. They weren't actually that bad. Not that I condone eating McDonald's and Sarah before you, but you know, if you gotta get a snack, you gotta get a snack in. Anyways, let's get on the train. Let's get this rocket rolling. Well guys, I am in South Carolina with the one and only Rufus the Bearded. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is my this is my buddy Ellis right here, guys. What's happening, fam? I'm gonna be moving in with eventually down the road. Roommates! For love! So um yeah, I'm, we're gonna settle in over here right now. Yeah, I'm gonna be with a cat over here too, but pretty sweet. We were just looking at the pier earlier today, and the pier is pretty sweet. We're gonna try to see if we can catch redfish. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna get ready, and we're gonna go fishing for blue catfish on Lake Moultrie and Lake Marion. So, it's gonna be pretty sweet. It's gonna be pretty dope. You guys need to stay tuned for this, because this is gonna be no joke. Anyways. Or be lame and don't. And or be lame and don't. Or just check out PewDiePie videos. That's fine too. Oh look, more kitties! Okay. You guys haven't figured it out, I like cats. Okay, yeah. well, well that was censored, that's good. Nice, okay, well guys, um, I think that's, that's a pretty good look of the place right now. We are hungry as hell, we're gonna go grab something to eat. Burgers! Yes, food! Me want food, me hungry. 